Hey, what's up guys? This video we're going to be talking about interfaces and how they're different than inheriting from an object. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So when we are creating classes, there's two ways we can basically describe the behavior that this class needs to have. The first is through a base class, such as a user being extended by a teacher. This teacher, any objects that are of the type teacher, are going to inherit the stuff from user. So that's the first way we get inheritance. And the other way is sort of like inheritance, but it's a little bit different, and that is through the use of interfaces. So interfaces define behavior. And you can think of interfaces very generally, which is basically how you work with something. So let's say we have this object, and this wall is the interface on how we interact with this object. You know, and it has certain characteristics that describe how this object is usable. So maybe we can have the object give us some output, or we can tell the object to do something with a particular value. Whatever it might be, we can basically work with this object through this interface here. And that's the concept of an interface. But when we're actually programming, we can create an interface and tell the class that this object comes from that it has to meet the requirements for this interface. So imagine you could take these rules of how to work with this object and write them in code. Maybe this is a little too conceptual, but give me a minute and we'll get a little bit more concrete. So rather than working with a general object, let's say we were working with something specific, such as a cat. So I might have a cat class and this cat can do certain things. This cat can walk, it can talk or meow, or let's just go with meow. And it can eat. It's pretty much the only thing cats are good for. So we can define each one of these behaviors using interfaces and we can reuse those interfaces. So for example, cats walk, but so do dogs. So dogs can use that interface, humans can use that interface and so forth. So. In conclusion, with interfaces, they define particular behaviors that classes need to implement. In the situation of walk, we can basically say everything that needs to happen for something to walk. You know, it needs to balance, it needs to be able to coordinate, it needs to be able to move forward. We can define that behavior, or at least the general structure for that behavior, in an interface and then classes can implement that interface. So that can be implemented by cat, that can be implemented by dog, that can be implemented by human, and so forth. So a class can extend another class, but a class doesn't extend an interface. Instead, it implements an interface. So a class inherits from another class and can have that code already there but when a class implements an interface, you have to define that functionality in this class. So both are important, just make sure you understand when to use which. If you're trying to define what something is or you want that code to automatically already be done, it's just gonna inherit from another class, boom, it's done. With an interface, you're gonna have to write a lot of code in this class to make sure we meet that interface requirements. When we have a bunch of different classes that all implement an interface, a particular interface, we can basically trust that they are doing something on their part. In the case of walking, we can say any class that implements that interface, we know that they can walk, so we can tell them to walk and we can trust that they can do it. So it's kind of conceptual here. I understand that it's a little weird. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to the next video because we're going to be going into creating interfaces and in a little bit more detail on interfaces versus classes in the inheritance hierarchy. So stay tuned and don't give up yet because uh, it is pretty conceptual up here. But I wanted to get those concepts out and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.